back to my channel. So we got another new song by Nikki. Uh, there's nothing left. Uh, so for this song, uh, as you can see, we don't have any capo and guys will actually cover the full album guitar tutorial. So make sure to check out that. I work a little bit hard on that. The videos are actually a little bit short. I just I try to make that short, brief, and show you the basic chord shapes to play on that. So uh, let's have a look at this song. It's the same thing going throughout the whole song. It's, and you kind of don't need to uh, learn the chord for this song, but still, I'm just going to tell you the name of the chord for the song. So let's uh, get started straight in the lesson, guys. This goes for the whole song. So we start off playing the E major chord, which we have open E string, second fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, first fret on the G string. We play the E string open. D string 2nd fret, then the G string, so you play, and in case you want, you can even strum a little bit at that last note, which means instead of playing the G single, you can just even strum the G, where you will actually hit the B string also, and maybe the D string, it doesn't matter, like this, it's the same thing, we play that twice for the E major chord, now we actually move on to the C sharp minor chord. Oh wait, wait, we don't play the bar chord. We just got another option. We have a pinky. It's a little bit stretchy, so you need to bring your forearm towards the guitar. So you got a pinky on the fourth fret of the A string, your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and your index on the first fret of the G string. And we repeat the same pattern. We play the A string, D string, G string, A string, D string, G string. We move on to the A major chord, but for this time we have. The A string open, the second fret on the D string, first fret on the G string. It's kind of the E major shape, but the A is open. So we play the A string, D string, G string, A string, D string, G string. And the next time you just hold that E major chord, but instead of playing the E string open, now you're just gonna switch the bass note to the A string second fret, which gives us the B. So this is a B major. So we got D string, I'm sorry, A string, D string, G string. A string, D string, D string. Again, I told you before, you can even strum at the end instead of just picking the bass note. Uh, sorry, the G string only. So let's play from the beginning a couple of times, and this will be crystal clear. Let's strum. That's basically everything for today. So it helped you out. Make sure you're one of these. As it is, subscribe because I just want to reach you guys all super fast. Check out the community tab. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.